I'll make this the last question because I know you have to go to others. But I think the word iconic is misused. Sometimes you may not may not want to hear. Does someone anyone saying? Everyone's exactly, always saying everything's iconic. It's no, it, well, there are, yes, it is. It's very misused. But either side, whether like it or not, you've had an extraordinary career. You've worked with an extraordinary panorama of actors and directors. And now, in fact, your daughter Charlotte is, well, as far as I can see, maintaining, continuing the tradition. With Absolutely. Exactly the do you feel you've had a lucky life? Really, given the very small talent that I had, contrary to Charlotte, uh, at 17, just to have some sort of vulnerability that Antonioni was kind enough to have noticed and therefore I was in blow up. But if not, very little to say for myself, really. I could have just been, I kept on thinking, if I'd stayed in London, would I have dared go on the stage? Probably not, because my mother, Judy Campbell, was so well known that I wouldn't have dared. Did I have enough character to have done something on television like, uh, like absolutely fabulous? No, I don't think so. In the theater, I wouldn't have been strong enough. And in the movies, I don't think there were movies in those days because there were kitchen sink dramas, but there was Rita Tushingham and a lot of people that really were interesting. So I think my good fortune has been inestimable. I mean, to think that I was in uh, Caetano Veloso's arms two days ago, singing in uh, San Paolo, that I've just come back from Canada for another one, that I shall be with uh, Rufus Wainwright in a week, that I've done this film and a comedy film uh, this year. And I'm 63 and I wasn't that great at the beginning. I've met a lot of very, very interesting people. And people have believed in me far more than I ever believed in myself. And they wanted me to be happier. And so, by meeting people and by meeting people going to extraordinary lands and to realize that you could get into ex-Yugoslavia, that you could get into Bosnia, that over the Mount Igman you could get in and it, and it mattered to get to places to hold people's hands to say, people care about you at home. Hence my struggle for Aung San Suu Kyi, for anything I can do, which was from the end of the death penalty in France, I've been it's meant as much to me as my professional life has been this other life and the children. So to see Charlotte Sutney with, uh, in Cannes with her award, which was 25 years exactly after her first award in, in France for Les Frontés, how my mother would have been happy and how happy am I to see Lou, my daughter Lou, kick off in New York in a Beckett play where they said she was made for the stage. And my daughter Kate, one of the best pho photographers in, in France. It's difficult, that's why I kept keep touching wood because my good luck was also to be there. There's a lot of luck in just being there at the right time with the right people, but especially at the right time with your own children when they need you. For that too, I've been lucky, not just my career. Jane Birkin, an immense pleasure to talk to you. <laughs> immense. Thank you very much indeed. That was as interesting as hard talk. <laughs> <laughs> That's a compliment. Thank it you. is. Thank you very yes, much. Yes, exactly. <laughs>